Well, it's another uh, Sunday night conversation. How are we doing this week? You doing good? Doing good. Yeah. Not feeling so free anymore, though. Well, I mean, I like the shirt, though. Don't be so offended. <laughs> that shirt offends me. I think some people have been offended by our videos, oh, so uh, don't be so offended. Hey, Texans, don't get offended by this. They're going to get offended by your <laughs> shirt. They go well together. Yeah, we, we did not plan this. We did this. not plan this. We it showed happened. Up, yeah, we way. showed up. Today, we woke up feeling offensive. Yes, offensive. Mm-hmm. I'm always feeling a little bit offensive. You know what Baker said that one time? I woke up feeling dangerous. Dangerous, yes. I woke up but feeling dangerous. Today, when I woke up this morning, I was feeling pretty dangerous. Today, I woke up feeling offensive well like i was saying i woke up today not feeling so free okay. I, I sent you a video you need to watch it yeah what? on tiktok go to your messages right, see yeah, this one? yeah yeah right there with the cop okay. one another for all the law is fulfilled in one word even in this you shall love your neighbor as yourself we're just talking about that verse one yeah another. that's literally our verse mm-hmm. tonight. beware lest you be consumed by one what another what are they doing hey, hey, oh, i think his mic what is the problem? This is in America, Wisconsin. What are they doing? They said we can have, because they said we can speak out here on the sidewalk freely. They're in the park. What Nobody place? told us that. Dude, well, how come there's now no they're putting him in handcuffs. Hey, you guys are acting like thugs, man. They're like they're straight up thugs. Hey, you're, you're, you're he has every right Just following to be orders, I'm sure. Engaging in speech. Yeah, free speech. He has every right to be out here engaging in speech. Wow. The heck, dude? That's that's not freedom. You, that's no. not freedom. Yeah. Don't you think you should be able to speak the word of God in a public park of all places? And he wasn't doing anything unlawful. You think he was offending some people? Probably. Yeah. Don't be so offended. Everybody's offended these days. Yeah. Well. If freedom offends you, we're sorry. You can turn off the podcast. Yeah, you're watching the wrong. You're watching the wrong show. We're all about freedom. Freedom to do whoever, be whoever you want, but also freedom to practice whatever faith you want to yeah. practice. And this is our faith. You don't like it? Yeah. Turn it. Turn the next channel. Free to practice whatever yeah. faith you want. So what? So I know in the Bible, there's lots of aspects of freedom, and a lot of it pertains to your freedom of being free from your sins. Yeah. Exactly. So I know you found a verse about it yeah, this week. Really what do good. we have? This is from Galatians, not Galatians. 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 Not Galatians, like Santa Claus. Yes. For you were called to freedom, brothers and sisters. Don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love, and love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. So don't take the freedoms that we have. Of with our faith, with our faith, mm-hmm. and don't just be careless with it. Yeah, it's not about just doing whatever you want all the time. That's what it says your sinful nature, because we all have sinful yeah. natures. Yeah, you know, we're all born like that. That's just your natural way. Yeah, you know, you have a young kid; they're gonna want to bite. Johnny bit me. They're gonna want to do stuff. You have to tell them no, yeah, and God is telling us no. Don't right. bite. <laughs> that's, yeah, don't bite. Yeah. Biting's bad. Here, I've given you the freedom to do, but here's how you should do it. Yeah. And I love that he mentions uh, in one another, like love one another and yeah. then love each other as your neighbor. Mm-hmm. And I think the kid was actually using that verse in his yes, when he got reprimanded. And when you said that, when we were talking about this beforehand, I was like, love is the ultimate is the ultimate thing that's going to bring us all together. Brings, yeah, unites everybody is yeah. love. Mm-hmm. And, and if you're not allowed to love one another because you're not allowed to speak, then how can you love and live in harmony? And we mention harmony a lot. Yeah. And you know, when it even pertaining to freedom, like what's going on in our country right now, mm-hmm. one of my favorite quotes ever is from a man named Ronald Reagan. Sorry if that offends you, uh, but he had a great quote about freedom, and this is one of my favorite quotes about freedom, and I think it's very pertinent to what's going on today. Exactly. And it is, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Or one day, we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States where men were free. That's that's sad to think about. That one day we could look back and tell our kids, we're sitting around, you know, when we're old and wrinkly, and telling our kids, yeah, there was a time where you could post whatever you wanted on social media and the cops wouldn't show up to your house. Yeah, or like... We used to be farmers. 
Yeah. But we can't even operate our equipment or spray. They're growing moving. everything in a lab now. Yeah, everything's done in a lab. Like, that's truly, yeah. I mean, people are like, oh, that's conspiracy. Mm-hmm. Like, no, that's really what's going on right now in our world, and it's going on with our freedoms of speech. Did you hear what like, they did in Canada, uh, I think, in this last week or so? Uh, you can't get your news on social media. I anymore. did hear about that. Can you believe that? Like, what? if we didn't have the opportunity yeah. to to get access to, like, our, to make our own Yeah. Our own, like, like literally, I see. I hate when I words will escape me right yeah, here. To make okay. our own um, opinions, opinions, and inform- your choice, yeah, informed yeah, opinions, informed, informed opinions. Yeah. And but when you're only getting from one thing, that's that's what's so hard. And what I the what authoritative I, news sources. What I love that God's talking about here too is that that's the same way with faith. You can't, mm-hmm. you know, you can't also be closed off to to just up this way and that's the only way and i not willing to hear your neighbor out not willing to live in a nice community to to want these freedoms no like and we got to do it all through love yeah that's love true. is the way to serve one another like he says there in to your freedom use your freedom to serve one another in love love your neighbor as yourself yeah. one thing i heard the other day is we all love ourselves everyone loves themselves even if you don't like yourself all the time you love yourself because you take care of yourself. You get yourself up, you feed yourself, you wash yourself, you clean yourself, you know, you take care of yourself. Yeah. If you treat your neighbor like that, you feed your neighbor, you love your neighbor, you know. Yeah. I don't know if you need to wash them. I hope not. But, you know, go mow your neighbor's lawn if they need it. You know, yeah. stuff like that. If you love your neighbor the way you love yourself, that'll help the whole country become more united like we were just talking about in harmony and in harmony and that's where the ultimate freedom is is Mm -hmm. is being able to do that stuff and the more that we're not able to even do that because if you can't treat your neighbor as you treat yourself because you're worried about oh it's everybody gonna think yeah Yeah. then you're not really free and that's not what we're about and like reagan said that it's not just you're not just born with that you have to keep instilling it in people in the next generations and for us being now fathers like Mm -hmm. that's a a huge part of what we want to do is instill that in our children so they can instill that in our children's children and we're not over here telling the stories like granny tells us sometimes like back in the day back in my day we didn't you know know, we ate rabbit stew and things like that (laughs) we might have some different stories to tell our grandkids if we don't stand for the freedoms that we have now and ensure that they're not taken from us exactly and that's what I think we all need to realize is that this just wake up to that fact and then ultimately we will truly get to a sense of hey every they're really not trying to like allow us to be free because here i know if people they've been maybe some people turned it off at this point who really offended you we've probably offended a lot of people how many of our videos that show us driving in a tractor show us actually doing farm work showing us with an animal get taken down for dangerous acts mm-hmm. driving and operating a heavy piece of machinery not by a professional yeah. or literally like the animal cruelty and it's like this this animals take better care than yeah. some humans get yeah. and those get taken down in what world are we allowed to even show our way of life that is not wrong mm-hmm. it is how this way of life operates if we can't show that to other people how are we ever going to get people to want to even be a part of that life mm-hmm. let alone talk about faith and if we don't allow those freedoms to be which is through ultimately our First Amendment. Yeah. And what what world or what country are we living in? You know. Yeah, well, we have to stand up for our freedoms, and you just have to use those freedoms that we have. Everybody, we all have to use our freedoms: freedom of speech, freedom of religion. We have to take those freedoms and use them, and let your opinions known. You know, if you're not, you're worried about what somebody's going to think, like you were saying a while ago. You're worried about what somebody's going to think. You shouldn't. If you if you think that you have the right opinion, and you're doing something good saying something good then you should let that be known and that's what we're trying to do right here you know like i'm sure like we said a lot of people aren't going to like what we have to say yeah i'm sorry it's my freedom to say this especially you texas fans yeah texas fans are really not going to like us after this one and anybody who gets offended yeah especially don't be offended (laughs) we love love you guys we love texas not not the university but (laughs) (laughs) the state as a whole (laughs) Uh, well, I guess that basically wraps up our Sunday night conversation about freedom. And yeah. we were we were trying our best not to talk too much about this without like recording it because sometimes we'll go down rabbit holes of yeah. like how this conversation will go. And I mean, it's important to us. Freedom is a huge part of what we stand for. God, yeah. family, God country, family, country, exactly. So, I think that's a great way to wrap it up. Yeah. Well, you guys have a God. You guys have a great week. God bless. God bless. You. <laughs>